Hello, friends, and welcome to Empower YouTube Podcast. I'm your host, Natasha Paris, and I'm excited because you are in the building with me. You can be anywhere in the world, but you have chosen to be here with me, and I am so humbled and appreciative. Let me tell you about this show. Each and every single week, we continue to empower you to greatness that is truly going to help you, whether you are a person that have experienced a heartbreak, have gone through a divorce, or have endured levels of trauma of any kind, or you're just a person trying to rebuild their life and themselves, and now you are finally ready to live a life full of abundance, joy, and peace, then this show is for you. So with that said, thank you again for being here. I am extremely grateful. I'm excited to be on this journey with you because together we are empowered for greatness. You ready? Let's go. Hello, my friends, and welcome to episode 81. I am super excited. I am your friend, Natasha Paris St. Amand, the empowerment strategist, the mental health therapist expert, and, and, your local podcaster. Yes, absolutely. Super excited to be here once more with you. And I'm excited about journeying down this path of enlightenment and understanding. And one of the things that I often say, as I often say, is that I want you to hit that five-star button and I want you to be able to share this podcast this episode with as many people as possible and leave a comment on how this episode or the entire podcast Empower You Too has resonated and has also been helpful to you because the goal is really to have you become the best version of yourself through tapping into the power that lives within you and also being aware of the things that prevent us from getting towards our goals and and being able to utilize the strategies and techniques that I provide on this episode and throughout this entire podcast. So with that said, let's jump right into this. Yes, absolutely. Welcome to 81, episode 81. And guess what we're going to talk about today? We're going to talk about stop making excuses, my friends. Stop making excuses. Too often we want certain things in our lives and because we want them, we have this perception that it's just going to happen by osmosis, right? It's just going to happen. We want it. It's just going to happen to appear. But what I've come to realize in my own life and working with thousands and thousands of individuals across the globe as a licensed clinician, a consultant, is that people want what they want, but they're not willing to do what it takes in order to get it, right? They are not willing to do what it takes to get it. And so what often is the case, what causes them to be in that place is the fact that they make excuses. They say that they are too tired, Right. What are some of the the excuses that people often say when it comes to attacking or establishing or achieving a goal? I am just too tired. I get home from work, working my nine to five, but I really want to open up my own business or at least start my own business. But I just don't have the energy. (laughs) That's one. Two, it's late. I don't have time to work out, right? It's not that I'm tired. I'm just, I just don't have the time to work out. Another excuse is, boy, my kids take up all of my time and I'm just going to wait till they get older. I'm going to wait till they go off to college for me to start that business or for me to lose that weight. Cause you know what? My time is all wrapped up in my children and my husband or my spouse. And I just don't have the time. 
Another one, which is a big one that people often make is, I don't have enough money. Oh, well, you know that saying, you need money to make money. You need money to make money. I don't have money to to invest in this business. I don't have the money in order to just really get the ball rolling. Those are most of, those are the top four, if not five excuses that people often make when it comes to achieving a goal. And what are some of the goals that people have? The goal of either losing weight, that's a big one, starting a business, getting their finances in order. What's another one? What's another goal that people often, I want to advance in my career. I want to go after that promotion. Right. So oftentimes people have amazing goals and they want so much out of their life because we only get one shot. Like I've often said in some of my other episodes, we get just one shot at this life. But too often what causes us to not move is total procrastination with right with the cousin of excuses and so today we're going to talk about how to move out of that place that energy field of excuses because one thing i know for sure is that excuses generate and come out of what you think about yourself that's where they come from right they come from the thoughts that you say to yourself the negative thoughts And I consider them negative. And the reason why I say that some people might say, well, you know, Natasha Paris, those are valid excuses. I am exhausted by the time I come home from work and I don't have the time to to work on another business or you know what? My kids take up a lot of my time. Absolutely. I can relate. I understand I'm a mother, but one thing's for sure is that We have to dedicate the time that we want for ourselves in order for things to come to fruition. So let's talk about specific strategies that you can utilize today, right? Because one of the things I often say is that it's important for you to take on the task of eliminating excuses that involves tackling challenges head on, right? In order for us to tackle challenges, we have to eliminate those excuses, right? Because remember, I often say that you are often the person that stands in the way of your dream and you can be right there, but you stop, but you do something that prevents you from moving forward. So let's talk about five different, actually six, I have six. Okay. Let's talk about it. Six different strategies, but they're all in the same family strategies that you can use today. And if you're listening to my podcast, what I often say is make sure that you have a pen and paper. You should have your journal. You, if you've been following me and downloading my episodes, and this is not your first episode, you already know, you already know that it's important for you to write things down because if you expect to remember them just by listening Uh, 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 you will only remember 10%, okay? So we want to be able to get you to move quickly with impact, okay? So are you ready? All right, let's go. All right, the first thing is you want to set clear goals. What do you want, my friends? You want to have or actually decide on the goal that you want. And it has to be achievable. You have to give yourself something to strive for. That's what makes this life so amazing is when you have things that you're working on, not no, no knocking of Netflix or, you know, um, watching television or just being obsessed with the news. I'm not knocking it completely. But what I am saying is that Coming home and just watching television or getting on social media doesn't challenge you. It doesn't challenge you and it doesn't give you anything to strive for because you're just mindless when you're watching these things, right? So the first thing is set a clear goal. What do you want? And that's the question that you have to ask yourself. Do you want to lose weight? Do you want to get a better paying job? Do you want to spend more time with your family 
Do you want to go back to school? Come on now. These are some of the things that people want, but they are not willing to do what it takes. But it stops here, my friends. It stops right now because you're going to utilize, I claim it right now, you're going to utilize these skills, these techniques, these action-oriented techniques, right? You're going to do it today. And I'm so sure you're going to do it today because I believe in you. Of course, I believe in you. All right. So the first is set clear goals. The second is prioritize your task. What that means is you're going to break tasks into smaller, manageable parts to avoid feeling overwhelmed. It's important for you to break it up. For example, if you say, I want to, I'm going to use the health piece, right? Lose weight. I want to lose 50 pounds. Do not try to lose 50 pounds in one month. Try to lose maybe a pound, maybe two to three pounds a week, right? You just, and what are you going to do in order to make that happen? Are you going to change your diet? Are you going to work out more? Are you going to hire a trainer to show you what you need to do? So you want to prioritize those tasks, right? You definitely want to be very clear about what your goals are, as I stated in number one. The third point is stay organized. Let me tell you, I use my calendar for everything. The one that is free, the one that is on my phone, my smartphone, I use that tool as a to-do list and reminders to stay on track, right? So it's important for me to set reminders by setting my alarm. Utilize your phone. There's a lot of options and a lot of apps that are free that you can use to keep you focused because the thing is what often derails us from our goals and dreams is the fact that we get so distracted. We get distracted by what's going on in the neighborhood. We get distracted by what's going on on social media. Oh, that's a big one, right? You get on social media for five minutes and then before you know it, it's a whole two hours that have gone by. (laughs) <laughs> Lies you tell, because I refuse to get sucked in. I refuse to get sucked in just because I have goals for my life. And in order for me to accomplish it, I need to stay focused, right? So I want you to learn how to stay organized, utilizing the tools that you have in the palm of your hand. Okay, number four, accept responsibility, my goodness, it's important for you to acknowledge that you've made a mistake or have fallen short. And now it's about taking steps to correct it. You first have to accept responsibility, accept that, yes, you're not where you want to be as it relates to your health and fitness goals or or accept that you are financially struggling because you were too lazy. I hate to use the word lazy. You were procrastinating about finding another position that catered to not only your skills and your qualifications, but also your desire for financial success. Come on now. Right. That's a whole nother topic when we're talking about what is causing you to feel like that, that you can't go after your goals. Okay. The fifth is be proactive, anticipate potential obstacles and have a plan in place to address them. It's so important for you to be proactive, right? If you know that coming home late after eight o'clock and not having dinner will cause you to eat junk food, then you have to make sure that you have a pre-made meal already present for you. Because oftentimes if you come home and you know you have to be healthy um, as it relates to your eating habits, if you don't have your meals pre-cooked or prepared, you're going to come home and look for the junk food. Okay, so you want to be proactive and looking for junk food is not going to help you decrease in, in weight. It's going to increase your weight gain. Okay. Number five, like I said, I want you to be proactive. Number six is stay positive. 
It's important for you to maintain a positive attitude, focus on solutions rather than dwelling on excuses. Stop making excuses. Stop telling you, telling you, your own person, the story that you believe. Well, I don't have the time. I don't have the money. I have to wait till my kids are older. Stop believing those stories and lies you tell yourself. So it's important for you to stay positive and know that you can accomplish your goals. And by implementing these strategies, you can reduce the tendency to make excuses and take control of your life and your outcomes today. I am so convinced that if you follow these strategies and you actually implement them today, you will be able to see the excuses fall away. They will die away if you're consistent, right? The thing is, is that I want everyone by the sound of my voice listening to this to stop making excuses and just do it. Stop planning in your head, waiting for the perfect time for things to, to jump off. No, is nothing like the present because it is a gift. Yes, it really is a gift. So let's quickly summarize. We understand that Oftentimes people make excuses, right? And they sound so good in our heads and we often feel like they are external. But I want you to know as the licensed clinician that has supported you throughout all these episodes on the Empower You 2 podcast is that we are the ones, it's not an external battle, it's an internal battle, which means that we are can be our worst enemy. And so we have to go against the grain because our mind wants to make excuses, especially if we've been doing it, doing it for so long. So in order to debunk and eliminate those excuses, you first have to do what? As I said, you want to set clear goals. Second, you want to prioritize tasks. Third, you want to stay organized that's so key. Fourth, accept responsibility. It is your fault. It is your fault that you're not making the money that you deserve. It is your fault that the book that you've been wanting to write has not been written. It is your fault. Yes, I know you may not have the time, but check this out. Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, Jeff Bezos has the same amount of time that you have. You have to understand that. Fifth, be proactive, anticipate potential obstacles. Six, stay positive, my friends. It's important to stay positive through it all. Do not give up. Give yourself grace. If you mess up or you forgot to do a task, it's okay. It's, it's okay. I need you to know that. I've told the client just today, I said, stop beating yourself up for the things that you wish you should have done. And I don't want you, my friends, my fellow listeners to receive that in your spirit. Because if you begin to be negative and, and not focus on the positives, what it does is it also causes a barrier. It also distracts you from your goal. And that's not what we're doing right now. We are changing the trajectory of your life by doing something now. And so with that said, what is, what is your Empower You To homework assignment, right? What it is, it is, I want you to find something that you want to do with your life and I want you to get started. Whatever that might be, whether it's writing a book, whether it is going to the gym, whether it is meal prepping, I want you to get started. Stop making excuses. This is not about anyone else, but it's about you. It's about you saying, I matter. It's about you saying, I'm important enough to do the things that is necessary for me to have or live the best version of myself. So my friends, I hope this episode was very helpful to you because remember the goal is for you to become, like I said, the best version of yourself. 
So with that said, I want you to be empowered for greatness because without greatness, there's no you. And without you, there's no greatness. I look forward to seeing you soon on the next episode. Bye.